like it's a uh, camp oven chili mac. Ooh. The cast iron. Yep. Got all of our ingredients right here. Mm -hmm. Using our ground beef, chili seasoning, beans, rotel, uh, onions, diced green chilies, macaroni noodles. Mm. And lots of cheese. Yep. We got one onion here diced up. And we used our new chopper. It works great. Yep. Do the onion. I, I suck at cutting vegetables, so having these little helper tools always help me. Olive oil down in the uh, cast iron there. Eh? My eyes are burning. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't ever bother me. It doesn't burn my eyes. Mm. I don't know why. That's weird. It's a good smelling one, though. One pound of ground beef. Two tablespoons of the Fiesta taco seasoning. Go in with uh, one can of Rotel with chili seasoning. One can of diced green chilies. Yum. One can of chili beans. Your choice of beans. We use chili beans, sometimes we use black beans. Sometimes we use spicy chili beans. You don't have to use beans, I make him do it. We implement that in many of our recipes because Abby loves the beans. I do love the beans. One pack of Goya seasoning. Just a little squeeze of garlic. About a half a cup of water. I usually just start with about a half a water bottle here and if I need more, if the noodles suck up too much of the liquid and there's not enough, I just add a little bit more in there. Give that a mix. Smells good. We're using a one and a half cups of elbow noodles. You can use any kind of noodle you like we found that we really like the elbow noodles the best for this particular recipe. Just give it a good mix. So we're gonna finish this off camp oven style using charcoal. So I'm gonna move this off out of the way. Right there. And I've got some charcoal briquettes. We'll get those burning and then we'll finish it off with those. We went to the Yingling Brewery today over in Pottsville. And this was the first time I got to try their premium beer. So I picked up a case to bring back. Some additional Yangling beer came with that as well. Yes, it sure did. So just enjoying it at the camp. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to get this going. Oh, oh, I missed it. You missed it. Sorry. Focus on that fire. Mm. <laughs> what are you actually doing there? I'm just jostling them around to kind of even them out get the, the more hot ones up and the lesser hot ones down the bottom. Smart. Just, just trying to get them to burn a little more evenly. So just kind of shaking them around. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna put six on the bottom. 
All right. I always spread them out so that they're around the uh, bottom radius of the pots. Set that right there. Dump the rest on the top. Should be approximately 14 on top. 14 to 16 anyway. Uh, we are using the 10 inch, by the way, 10 inch lodge. One ring around the top equals 14. And then sometimes I put uh, two extra up there, but we just did it right there, 14. And in the bottom, I'll just go ahead and just slide those in like that. That should be good. We'll start a timer. You know, you just cook it. It usually takes, I'd say somewhere around maybe between 30 and 40 minutes, somewhere around there. It just depends on how much heat's got going. If it's really windy, it takes longer to cook it. And I but, think the longer it goes, the better it is. I oh yeah, it, it really, even the next day after you yeah. get back up, it's so good. All those spices and flavorings get yeah. absorbed in there. It's really good there, but, so we'll let this finish out. We'll show you what it looks like whenever it's, when it's done. I'm gonna to continue to check it though, and just make sure that we don't need any additional water, because sometimes we do need to add a little bit there. All right, so here's uh, 20 minutes in. Looks like it's getting nice and hot. We'll give it a stir. It smells so good. All right, put the lid back on and let it keep on cooking. You're gonna give it the old taste test? I do, but it's so hot. It's like the surface of the sun. It's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so good. You like it? It burnt my tongue. It was so good. Ugh, I, I wasn't spicy. trying to push you there. You. Mm. I know, I did it to myself. I told you, I said, cool it down. It's gonna be hot. It's, it's good. How long do we have? It's not quite there yet, but okay. it's cooking. I'm hoping that uh, this charcoal here is gonna get it through the cook. It's just the, the noodles need to cook a little bit more. So there's our chili mac. You can obviously garnish this any way you want. Fresh tomatoes, onions, green onions, any way you like it. This is how we like to eat ours. I even like to use the Tostito scoops and just kind of scoop it out with that as well. So there we go. We're gonna enjoy our delicious chili mac camp meal tonight. <laughs>